Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to save and load avatars and how to share one avatar between multiple projects. So the first thing we need is to have one avatar and then go to File, Save Avatar. And by default, it's gonna save it in your base um, folder, which you can find it here. And it's that easy. Just select file, save avatar, give it a name, Arthur Theory One, seems fine. And it's safe. If you want to load an avatar, it's kind of the same process. Load avatar, and you will see all your save avatars. Let's load again, Arthur. And as you can see, we have. Um, our new character here and if you have one uh, avatar selected and you go to load avatar it will override it as you can see this function is enabled you can disable if you want or you can choose what parts of the character you want to override. You can choose only the avatar presets, the proportions, clothes, hair, etc. So let's select this one here and load it. And it's going to replace the one that I have selected. Let's place it on the floor properly. And as you can see, that's how you save and load characters. It's very easy. And now let's take a look at how to share one avatar through multiple projects so you don't have to edit them in each single project you just need to modify uh, the avatar in the main project and it will automatically change the avatar in other projects so let's grab this one here and let's give it a nice hair Something like this, and for clothing, we're gonna change something a bit more visible. Okay, and with this character select, we are gonna save it, save avatar, and we're gonna call it main and save. And now, what we're gonna do is create a new project. Uh, let's go, new project. We're gonna go to the main DOM. So in order to link uh, this character, for example, with our main avatar, we just need to come here to the avatar. If this is unchecked, just enable it. And you have to select the file of your avatar. In this case, it's our main replicant avatar. Let's open. And as you can see, we have it here. And we're going to lock the body, the clothes, the hair, and the attachment. So if you go to the clothes, for example, you see that it's gray out. That's because it's linked to this avatar file. And now we're going to just save this project. For example, here, we're going to call it test avatar and save. And now to modify this character, we have to open the project where we have our main character. In this case, uh, I have a project called main. And as you can see, our character is here. Wait for the morphs. And let's uh, modify him. So, I don't know, let's give it a long hair and change the color. Perfect. And we're going to change the proportions a little bit. We're going to make his legs very thin like this and now we just uh, move to the avatar file we don't need to enable this for the main one and just save the avatar and override the main one with all our changes and once we open our test avatar project you can see our character has been modified uh, based on the main file. So you can have multiple projects with your characters 
link to this uh, avatar file or to any other avatar file and they will automatically update every time you load the project with this file so you can modify our main avatar and it will update any avatar link to this file. So that's all for this tutorial. If you want uh, a video about any specific topics, leave it in the comments and see you in the next one. Bye.